Yeah guys, so far so good. It's about 2.15, 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I've got really bad stomach issues. Uh, I'm happy if I could just get through this private session. Good morning my friends, it is the 5th of November 2019, Tuesday, 10.30 in the morning. We're both very, very tired, we're about to start our day. Good morning Robs. Hi guys. Very exhausted, uh, wasn't feeling very well last night or this morning, had uh, toilet issues if you know what I mean. Don't want to go any further than that, you get the idea. So i um, just been very feverish, uh, sweats and uh, headaches and things like that, you get the idea. So had a very steady morning, just uh, had some toast this morning, see, you know, when I'm not feeling very well, I usually have toast, makes me feel better. But uh, we got a, I skipped the class this morning, didn't do it, didn't feel good enough to do it. But this afternoon we have private sessions at AKA Thailand. I'm really excited to do that, but uh, I'll give you some highlights there. Right now we're going to Chok Chai or CMT Muay Thai. This one's got some Pilates practice there. That's it guys, going to do a passport photo for my visa for Cambodia. We're off to Cambodia next week. Uh, this Sunday actually, it's our final week here in Thailand, training on Fitness Street. What is the lesson? The moral of the story is if you're coming here for long periods of time, you got to pace your training. Yeah. Because what we're finding is we're trying to like push up so many classes, like at least two classes a day, every day for the last three weeks. And what's happened is it's hit us hard in the fourth week. We're both, like Pretty I'm wrecked. just managing, like just managing to do like one class a day. I did unit yesterday. Now I'm I don't know how this afternoon's gonna go, but it's just so interesting to, to show how much your body will tolerate before it will say like, sorry dude, you gotta slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you feel good at the time when you do the yeah, classes. they're amazing, but. They're amazing, but it's the day after or the week later, like it just catches up with three you. Three weeks later. Three weeks later. Of constant training. Constant, yeah, constantly. Yeah, now, yes, now you've now got I'm, a fever. And I've got a fever. You're and not well, and yeah. I'm very exhausted in my body and low back. So yeah. you've really got to look after yourself, yeah, man. Also, it's, so we walked outside here. It feels like it's like a wall of heat that we've just like walked into. Oh yeah, we just so hot. We've come out of some amazing air conditioning. <laughs> And uh, walked out of some amazing air. We're staying at Coco Retreat here for a week. We'll do a separate tour video of this amazing little resort, second a street from Fitness Street, actually, just the next street across. Let's go. All right, my friends. So after a 10, 15 minute scooter ride, we got to CMT Muay Thai from Coco Retreat, a nice little resort that we were staying at for a week. And Robin was here just to practice some Pilates stuff. So we didn't actually do any classes uh, in the morning, but we have trained here in the past. So if you're staying on Fitness Street and you're looking for a place to do some Muay Thai training, or you want to give it a try because you've never done it before, this is a nice little gym to try out. As I said, if you're on Fitness Street, you can just walk down to this gym. I'll throw the map up so you can you can check it out for yourself. A very distinct gym. The, the floor is all green, green mats with uh, floor to ceiling mirrors. And they've also got a BJJ MMA room as well set up in the corner. But um, the group classes are really awesome. I've done them before. They have a, a morning class, which is from eight till 10 in the morning, I believe, and then four till six in the afternoon. And I think you pay like 350 baht or 400 baht per, uh, per group class. And you'll find all sorts of people in there, people that have never done Muay Thai before. It's their first time. They've usually come over from Titan Fitness and they're just trying it for the first time. 
Uh, and then you've got some people which are quite experienced. So you should never feel intimidated. Just go in there, put your name down, pay 350 baht, and then have two hours of the best time of your life. And trust me, it's very, very addictive. If you don't have any gear, that's fine. Uh, CMT supply all of that. They have wraps, they have gloves, they have all the gear there, skipping ropes and all sorts of stuff. Um, if you're doing a one-off class, you could probably use all that gear rather than just going out and buying everything just to do a one session. But if you're doing Muay Thai on a more regular basis, I definitely recommend buying your own gear, buying your own wraps and gloves, which I do talk about in other videos. So. They also have accommodation options for anyone watching that is looking at training at CMT for a month or more. I believe last time I checked their rooms for one month uh, cost 15,000 Thai baht. I've done a separate walking tour video which I'll link up. Definitely go and check that video out. As I said, as usual, uh, not paid or sponsored, uh, but I'll give you a raw experience of what the rooms look like and what to expect before you book and pay. Uh, as I said, I'm not affiliated with the gyms. Uh, I just make the videos for fun. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. This was it for us. And then, yeah, we're off to AKA Muay Thai, which is uh, just down the road. It's about a 15, 20 minute scooter ride. Guys, we just arrived at AKA Thailand. Beautiful place, I love this place. How do you feel, Robs? It's so interesting. It's like, it's a um, Muay Thai, but you come here and you feel super relaxed. Such a yeah, it's like, in the, it's like a jungle it, feeling. It feels very Surrounded very by trees. The lovely breeze, it's so hot, so the breeze is really nice. And it has a very, very calming, feeling about it. Uh, it's really hot today and Robin and myself are not feeling very well. Don't know how I'm going to go with this but uh, Fun memories of this place training last year. I'll link up the video, go and check it out. Do a group class here. This time doing a private. Rob's just gonna give you the highlights. doing their private sessions now at AKA. If you want to do your privates at AKA or anywhere, you should do it between the group classes. The group classes here are between, I think, 7 or 7.30 in the morning for two hours. In the afternoon, about 4 p.m. for two hours. So get your privates in between the group sessions. Stomach is feeling like shit. I try, I won't do one more, and that's it. Don't train on a sick stomach. All right, guys, that is the uh, that is the end for me. I, that's my private session. I I cut it short by 15 minutes. I just feel my stomach is turning so much, and I just I feel good. So I told them that I just want to finish. Really unfortunate. I love this gym, and I'll definitely be coming back here. Uh, I'll get the I'll get that trainer's name, but the other guy's crew pet. I trained with him last year. He's an amazing dude, really funny. Uh, they got other privates here. Little boy training. It's really cool to watch. Um, it's really a nice place. Breezy. It's not Fitness Street. I just want to put that out there. This is not Fitness Street. It's part of the Fitness Street series. Uh, this place is a little closer to Rawai. I'll throw it up on the screen as a map. Uh, but it's worthwhile coming to. I'm gonna do a separate walking tour of this place. Separate video. Stick around for that. I'll link it up below. Thanks so much, Robs, my online Pilates instructor. If you have interest in Pilates online, check her out. Thank you, Robs, for filming. I appreciate it. She's really tired as well. It's just been, we're both exhausted and yeah, you've got to rest, guys. Fourth week of training, we're just tired. So if you've got any questions, let me know. If you come to Thailand to train, send me a message and I'll be uh, able to help you out the best way I can. Thanks, thanks for watching.